Hey everyone, so um, it's the first day of autumn. Look at that sky. It's gorgeous and the trees are just now. If I can focus now. There you go. Yeah, the trees are beginning to turn and um, everything's turning. There's some like, I don't know if you can see, but over there there's a house with beautiful, um, like a creeping plant and the leaves are all turning red. But um, yeah, so this morning it's perfect because we're off to a crafty vintage fair um, and it's just timed really well for the first day of autumn and on a Sunday. Aaron's off, we can spend the day together, so I'm going to try and vlog it. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Can't wait. So I will see you there. Such a gorgeous autumn day. Look at it. Beautiful. back from the fair and I thought I would just show you what I bought. Let me try and zoom out. So yeah, we've got some really, really good finds. Oh my goodness, my camera. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to try and zoom out best I can. Okay, that's as far as it'll go. Um, let me just move these out of the way. So, um, okay, my husband's been really, really, really coming through when it comes to finding some really good bargains. And I think it's just sort of like, he sort of tapped into his inner creative. It's so bizarre. Because he's been finding these things and getting all these ideas. And I'm like, where's this coming from, you know? So anyway, he found, it's really heavy. This, okay, so. Let me just show you from another angle. But obviously you can see it's a tool kit. Um, and the lady who was sending it, she was sending it for a really good price. And it has, as you can see, the inside, the tray bit in the middle, uh, the tray bit in the top. And so this tray comes out and obviously you've got the inside here. Now, this is going to be absolutely fantastic for all my paints. I say all my paints, I really don't have a lot of acrylics at the moment, but let me just go and grab one. Right, so I want to start investing in some high quality, heavy bodied acrylic paint. 
um, and this is the Green Gold by Golden and these are just brilliant paints. I only have one tube of the heavy body because I've been investing in watercolours but I, I do want to do more um, painting with acrylics. I have a couple of high fluid, is it high fl fluid? Fluid, yeah, fluids. Anyway, uh, acrylics but yeah I want to get start building up a collection of these so um, they were, <laughs> it looks so lonely in there but let's compare this shop now to however many months I'm going to say months in the future to see how my collection goes so there I'm going to take a photo of that and then compare it in a few months time so that's my one golden then all my paints will go in there and then in the top this is where all my paint brushes will go so this is going to be mainly for acrylics so there's that. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> um, next, from the same lady, found this cute little tin. And this is gonna be perfect for the small pieces of ephemera. If I can open it, hang on. Well, yeah, opening it right, it's the things in there. So it used to be a money box. It's a really cute little tin and it's going to be perfect for small pieces of ephemera. So, um, yeah, I've got that. And then we've got um, another basket tray because these are going to be perfect to put on top of the drawers. And these are going to be like, almost like inboxes. So I can put work that needs to be done in here. I've got another one that could be used as like an outbox. Um, so yeah, these are just super handy to have. So I've got a couple now, I don't really need any more. Um, but yeah, this just matches perfectly. So I've got one of those. Pop that on my, my drawers, it looks really good. Okay, next. Um, so this is for the home and it's, it's really tiny, let me zoom you in. Okay, so it is a damson, plum, rose and patchouli wax soy wax candle hand poured. It is, I wish you could smell it, honestly. Oh, it's one of the most beautiful smelling candles I've ever smelled. Um, and let me see, is this one? Yeah. Escape soy wax candles and gifts. And it's, uh, she said it's 100% natural, I believe. So yeah, really looking forward to using that. Next, I'm going to switch to my other camera to show you what else I got. Yeah, so as you may or may not be aware, globes were the in thing not that long ago. Um, and I wasn't really interested in them, to be quite honest with you. But then when we were looking around yesterday at the, um, the fair, I came across this and it was going for a really good price. It was going for £12. And... I kept like picking it up thinking, oh, that's gonna look so good on my shelf. That'll look really, really good in the shed. Not to mention, I really want to travel anyway. So it's gonna be good just to every now and then have a look on here at the different, just different countries. Um, and so, yeah, we thought, okay, yeah, it's gonna look really good. We weren't sure whether or not it would fit on the shelf. Um, I, I thought I might have to put it on the drawers, but when we got home and put it on there, uh, yeah, it just looks so, so good. So I'm really, really happy with that. And the final thing that I got is actually indoors. So I'm gonna go inside just now and show you, but it was a really, really good find. It was one of the first finds I came across and I was quite shocked um, because I, I didn't really expect to find anything like it. So I'm just gonna go in and show you. Okay, so um, can you guess what it is? Right, okay, so um, this is a lady that makes them. It's a journal, but what I was not expecting was a traveler's notebook. And it was so funny, bless her heart, because she was trying, trying to explain to me what a traveler's notebook was, and I'm like, my husband just turned around and he said, you're preaching to the choir. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, Bonnie, shh, what's the matter? Um, and she's hand painted it. Sorry, one second. So she's hand painted it, but look at the words as well. She believed in her dreams, her impossible dreams, which I love, I love that, knowing they would one day come true. And wow, that just speaks to me so, so much. 
I love the way it, I mean, it's not, it's not leather, it's not faux leather, it is cardboard, but it is so pretty. And it was the only one there that was, um, like, elasticated like this. And she's even got her own, made her own inserts, and they do feel like really good quality paper, so I'm not sure, well, I'm not sure what type, it's like cardstock, so, um, it would be really good for memory keeping, or maybe even, actually, do you know, this would make a really nice junk journal, so I think that's what I'll do, um, but I couldn't pass it by, um, I think it was only £12, um, but that's her own artwork, and it's just absolutely stunning, so I can't wait to use it, definitely feel it's got that junk journal vibe about it, so that's probably what I'll use it for, so yeah, that's my haul, um, and it was just really, really good to get out locally to visit, um, to actually have something like that locally as well. Um, and it was just timing of it. I mean, if you look at my YouTube at the moment, it's all vintage stuff, but it's not, I mean, it's like it's not, I've deliberately done that, you know, like with this craft fair, vintage fair, it, it just sort of happens to coincide. So it's really, really unusual. But um, yeah. So anyway, thank you ever so much for watching and until next time, take care. Bye.